Merry Christmas, everybody. Randy, Randy Richard here in the shop. Uh, this is a quick update uh, on the dividing head uh, and center uh, issue. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I made a decision how I'm going to do it. Played with a few things here this morning. Uh, thank you, everybody, for all the suggestions. I uh, really appreciate that and the offers to machine or <laughs> offers for tools uh, out there. Um, just uh, thank you for everybody uh, wanting to help out. But I think uh, we're going to go with the, the, the plate idea uh, on the bottom of the dividing head. And uh, I'll explain now why I'm going to do that. And uh, I'll show you a tool I just got off eBay. And uh, that's about it. Just a quick update. So Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. And I uh, hope everybody has uh, good weather if you, and safe travels. Uh, we're not traveling uh, anywhere this Christmas ourselves. So, uh, But we did our travel for... Thanksgiving, <laughs> so which was fun. So, uh, excuse me. Uh, so, Merry Christmas, everybody, and thanks a lot. So, let me show you. So, uh, here's the divide head, and uh, so like I said, I'm I'm going to uh, decide to go with the uh, plate idea, piece of half inch aluminum plate that I had sitting around, uh, right there, underneath the dividing head, which. Uh, Show you this. So we to push that down. It is basically right on the money uh, as far as the height goes for that. I might have to do a little bit. That this is not um, perfectly level uh, uh, in reference to the to the table to the base. I should say I measured things. So I might have to do a little little bit of adjustment on this. Uh, but I, all I have to do is the slide. So that makes it a really pretty easy project on there. So that's going to work out really good. But the, one of the other reasons is why I want to only do that is because if I raise this up, you can see a rotary table sitting there with a one inch parallel in there. That one inch parallel makes it now this has a, a keys uh, on it, so I need to remove those. But I mean, well, I, I use it on the table there. Uh, so, but anyway, on the base, this makes this uh, basically right on the money, uh, six and a half. Uh, let me turn down a little bit. Basically, six and a half inches uh, for this rotary table. So, uh, killing two birds with one stone there. As far as the uh, center, with the center goes, I, I could use it on, with the rotor table or the dividing head that way, uh, which is pretty nice. I'd like to find a chuck I can mount on right on the rotary table. Uh, will you know? I probably have to make an adapter plate, but I'd like to find a chuck, uh, I don't know, eight inch, you know, an eight, eight or or a ten inch. You know, I can make this into a. a Kind of like a super a, a spacer, a super spacer, you know, kind of deal. But so um, I don't, I don't have a chuck I can mount right on there. Uh, eight, ten, ten inches. Yeah, I don't have a tape measure here. Oh, here. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is just uh, just under ten inches. It's nine and seven eighths. So either a ten inch chuck would be nice to have on there, but. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. That uh, way, I don't have to do really much of anything to this at all. Uh, I'm going to have to fix this. Uh, this is not this is not a very good uh, setup right here. This is this nut is jammed on this threaded rod and it's not straight. But I'll fix that. Uh, that's a that's an easy easy fix. Uh, but like I said, I can have it uh, set up for uh, two two pieces of equipment. That's uh, really nice, and uh, it'll work out well. That thing weighs about 80 pounds. Yeah, that thing's heavy. So uh, here's a here's a out there. This is the one I bought off of eBay. Um, this is a Armstrong number one S, uh, straight on tool, 15 degrees. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably set that up in the, on the on the for the lance lathe as a um, 
uh, chamfer tool. Uh, that will work out uh, pretty nice. It's already at 15 degrees. You don't have to grind the back angle, uh, clearance angle there. So it's all set, or relief angle, I should say, on the top. So that's a, it was really, really rusty. So I got it really, really cheap. So all I did was wire wheel it a little bit, clean it up. I'll show you a couple other ones I have though. This is a this is a spring tool, and I think it's kind of shop made. It's pretty well done, and uh, I came with my Logan lathe, and it holds a three eighths tool bit. Uh, and it's a you know the pivot is up here for the spring action. Uh, kind of neat. Uh, I've used it a couple times. It works. Anybody can make one of those uh, pretty much. Uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, the square hole is a little challenging, but uh, very doable. So that's uh, that's one tool. This is, a, this is a kind of a different one. This one here is called a universal tool holder. And it has a quarter and a 5 16 type of washer. Now you could change that and make your own but for something else for a 3 8. But you can just spin those around. I don't know if I, hopefully I'm in the field there. You can see how that is. And you can spin it around, lock down a 5 16 tool in there. Turn it around and put or put a quarter inch tool that bit in there. You know, kind of neat, kind of different. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it works. And it came with like I got that with my Logan also. A couple of different little tools. Thought I'd show you. So that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, thanks for all the suggestions again. Um, uh, thank Jim there for sending me this and offering up some uh, tools to mill it. And I don't think I'm going to need that. And thanks, uh, James Kilroy, for offering also to send. Or I could send him to base there, and he'd mill the hell out of it for me. One of those big K and T. Uh, but I don't think we're going to need to do that. And uh, I'm just. Uh, I think we got a plan here. That's going to work out pretty good. So, uh, thanks a lot, you guys. So, Jim, uh, this is going to be in the mail to you uh, shortly here. Uh, as soon as I uh, get my act together, we'll get that packaged up. Uh, and you're going to get yourself a nice little shorty uh, center. I think that's going to, going to work out nice. Okay, this is a pretty nice center. Uh, I really like that little one. So, but I don't have a use for it, so we'll get that package up and sent to you, Jim. Thanks a lot for offering up this trade. This is going to work out good for me. Thanks. So I've got this straight edge here, and I marked off a zone that when I put it across the old surface plate, this is a one and a half thousandths. Uh, if I, you read that, one and a half thousandths. Smallest uh, feeler gauge I have, but I can't. There's no light, and I can't. I can't get that uh, underneath there at all. All the way across. So that's pretty. Uh, pretty flat. Now I'm gonna put it on the uh, faceplate I did. So here's the faceplate. I'm going to use that same, those same mark between those two marks and we'll put it on there. That thing out of the way. See how this is. Nope, nothing. So it's, it's kind of pinched in the corner, but it won't go underneath there. And I can't see any light. Uh, can't see any light underneath it either. So I'm uh, pretty happy with how flat it is. Uh, I think uh, Paul there, Paul Compton over in the, over in the UK, uh, said something. Uh, uh, you know, asked if I had checked the flatness, and well, 
it's pretty damn flat. <laughs> so it's good enough. I, I don't really think I'm going to do any more to the face. Uh, even though I measured a, it was the, that last little bit was just right here on the end uh, as far as uh, being out about a thousandths. Uh, uh, maybe I could turn it, uh, you know, I could have turned it probably a little slower. Maybe it, it wouldn't have uh, warped or anything. Uh, but it's uh it, it's it's plenty good for what i'm doing like to say but but it's flat too so that's uh really nice uh this back edge here is pretty far out and so i i did kind of do a quick setup a few people suggested a boring bar and turned the tool post around and, and actually i did all that and i should be able to reach around and, and maybe clean up this back edge it really is bothersome uh, when it's running you know you see that run out and uh, so I might clean up that back edge a little bit. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to do any more to the face uh, at all. Uh, it's, uh, it's in good shape. It it's, uh, came out really nice. So I just thought I'd do a little quick uh, follow-up here for you guys on that.